What's up everybody, I'm the Mangoose, you are awesome, and in my last update video, I mentioned that the Overprime servers were up, but I had not tested them. Well, the footage you're seeing right now is from where I queued into the North America server, was matched up with other players, and we played a game. I played like absolute garbage, but that's beside the point. The servers work. This is great news for the community. Overprime is available to anyone with a PC, they have a sizable roster, and now they have servers. I did encounter a few problems and confusion. The game took forever to patch. This is partially my fault for not keeping it updated, but even with one gig internet, it seemed to take forever. I was able to log in just fine, but figuring out how to queue was a little confusing. You just go to where it says create listen server and click play over prime at the bottom right. Ignore all the options and select whichever region you want and you're queued. It did take around 45 minutes to find a match, but I think once people realize how easy it is to play, there will be a lot more people looking, and this will shorten up the queue time, of course. The game played pretty smooth. Uh, I had to decrease my graphic settings to low, or I would start strobe lighting the second I got near anyone. After I did that, I didn't have any problems. Hit detection and registration seemed good. I didn't experience any lag or rubber banding. Everything played out as it should. I still think the game is way too fast and half my poor performance was due to forgetting that travel mode exists. I would often be pushed up with my team ready to support them if I needed to with Narbash and they would retreat and leave me in the dust because they had entered travel mode and then I would just get set upon by the enemy team. What I should have done was just already have been in travel mode and just ready to support from travel mode, you know what I mean? Anyway. Even without travel mode, people just fucking fly. Look at this Feng Niao. Like, how the hell am I supposed to thunk that? I also didn't like the draft mode. I wanted to play my girl Faye, but she got banned. There isn't enough heroes to be banning shit in my opinion. All in all, the game plays well and is far more accessible to the community and at no cost. However, I'm still really gravitating towards Predecessor and Fault to fit my Paragon reboot needs. Something just seems off to me with Overprime. I've said this before and it still stands true. Overprime feels like what Paragon was becoming as opposed to what Paragon was. That is a very, very good thing for many members of the community, however, it's not my bag. I stopped playing Paragon months before it shut down because it had become unrecognizable to me. The Paragon I bought a Founders Pack for was not the Paragon I ended up playing. But just because I don't like it doesn't mean that you don't like it. If you enjoyed the fast-paced run-and-gun action of Late Stage Paragon, give Overprime a try. Hell, even if you didn't and you just missed playing, check it out. It's free and now they have servers. Maybe it'll bring that feeling back to you even if it hasn't for me. For now, this is the Mangoose signing off. You guys have a good one. Mangoose!